Welcome to Change Your Funk to Fun with your host, Mary Mazur. Learn how your body, mind, and spirit operate and learn how to access a sacred, powerful tool called Psych-K to assist you to ignite the wisdom within you to rewrite any limiting beliefs. So please welcome the host of Change Your Funk to Fun, Mary Mazur. Hello. I am Mary Mazur. You are on the Bold Brave TV network. This is Change Your Funk to Fun. We're in episode three of this series. And what we will be talking about today is say goodbye to abandonment and welcome connection and support. So I have an amazing guest on the show today, Ginger Clark. Ginger Clark is going to be coming on. Uh, she is a world traveler and actress. She has extensive work in light worker healing um, arts like sound therapy, hypnosis, psyche, mediumship, and uh, her intuitive gifts and authenticity is blossoming beyond measure. So we welcome to the show, Ginger Clark. Hello, Hi. Ginger. <laughs> <laughs> so happy to have you here. <laughs> thank you. I'm so happy to be here. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. So yes, let's really dive into it. So this theme for these 12 week uh, series is about relationships. And uh, I know for me, I know I love relationships and uh, cause we have a relationship with everything. Right. So, which is really neat. And I, I love love. I love being fully alive. I love, you know, right. To be all in, I'm pretty much intoxicated in my love <laughs> in the love of living. And, and with that, um, we also agreed to be born in the 20th century and to come down here in a very dark, dark time on this planet and experience some pretty extensive stuff. So this is one that we'll be talking about today is about abandonment. Any aspects that we might have felt abandoned, especially as a little girl, a little baby, a little girl, a little child, those first seven years of life, and then how that keeps repeating in our lives, what shows up for us. And the gift is that, that we're going to today help talk about how to shift when things are happening to you to be able to shift them quickly and effectively that they're happening for you and then bring in what is the lesson here what is the experience um, purpose that we're that we're being offered and then lift us up and to expand into how we truly clearly want things to be instead of that opposite that we just experienced like abandonment yeah good yeah yes absolutely Yay. So yeah. So hey, would you like to share? We can share about how you and I connected because I know we're we're kindred sisters here and we know we connect in other dimensions, which is really pretty fun. And yes. <laughs> and even here back on Earth. So when we meet people, we're like, oh my gosh, where have you been my whole life? You know? <laughs> so true, isn't it? Oh, I love it. I love those moments. Um, when you you walk into a kitchen and you, you know, you're introduced to somebody and you're like, I found you. Yay. <laughs> and you just know. Yes, and it's, yes. uh, it's divine. Well, we met back, what, September a year and a half ago? Yeah. Yes, because we're working on, we're coming up to a year of you and I having finally had the opportunity to meet in person. Um, so, yes, you taught me Psych K online basic workshop. And then um, six or so months later, I was able to connect with you in person and complete the basic, uh, site K facilitator, um, workshop. And then, yeah, I did my advanced a little bit later. So yeah, we're working on our one year anniversary. Yay. Yeah. Isn't that nice? I know. I know. Right. Yeah. So would you love to share a little bit about, and I know you will, and I will too, because I definitely have um, experienced about abandonment and I didn't even realize, I didn't think I was like, I didn't have like big abandonment issues. Like some people, like some people, I, I would say even that were adopted, let's say they had to be given up and then were adopted. Right. Or, or maybe the, at a very young age, their mom or dad had to leave, you know, that, that can be some abandonment stuff um, too with that, that we, because we take things so literal as little children that we don't realize, you know, that, that um, those imprints happen to us, but um, whether it's small or medium or large, it still affects us and they each affect us greatly. Um, and so that's where I, with the gift of psyche, I was able to dive into things. I didn't even think I was abandoned and heck yes, I was. And I was actually quite shocked by it, especially with my relationship with my dad. That was the biggest one. And even a bit with my mom, which I didn't even realize either. So yeah, if you'd like to share a bit about that and, you know, because uh, then the gift will be as we're going to be talking about that it's actually here for us so that we can actually connect even more deeply, right? And really 
really uh, wake up to the divinity that we are and the support, the openness, the feminine part of us to receive so greatly. So this is what the gifts are. It just kind of sucks. Yeah, we got to go through the crappy stuff, you know, and whew, get into all those feelings and, 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 and work through all of that. But yeah. So would you like to share a bit about maybe your journey and then how the gift with Psyche and other gifts too, like you say, there's many gifts. Psyche works with every, with any kind of tool to complement it beautifully. It's just a very, you know, one of the master tools because it's very fast and effective. And I like fast and effective <laughs> for transformation. Yeah. Yes. And easy. Fun and, and easy. easy. And fun yes. and easy. Yes, seriously. Like that's even the best part, right? Yeah. It actually can be fun and so, easy. Oh, it's so fantastic. Um, I... It's, it's very interesting. You know, I think about my life and I think about the fact that you and I are sitting here speaking about um, something like abandonment and never would I have dreamed that I would be able to speak about it with, with such peace and to actually say it was something that happened for me and taught me and there's you know these massive things that happen in our human lives and we think that it's such a tragedy or such a trauma and if we're committed to the work and we want to do you know what we call the work and we're walking on our path and we're able to transform that then it can be such a beautiful gift and blessing as you mentioned so for me i had a huge perspective um, that I was abandoned by my mom because my mom physically did leave. And as I've learned, our um, little brains will make up stories about, you know, especially zero to seven when our uh, some subconscious is forming there. We will decide that because a parent went to on vacation and was gone for a certain amount of time or had to go leave on a work trip that we were abandoned. So my, um, like, let's say my human side of me would say that I was neglected by both of my parents. I had two emotionally unavailable parents. They also worked um, significant amount of time. I spent a lot of time alone. And then as I, I got older, my mom did in fact leave our family. And then as I grew and learned more about myself, I realized that I also felt like I was, I had feelings of abandonment with my dad as well, even though my dad did not physically leave. So there's all those nuances built in for us when we speak about um, abandonment. And as you mentioned, people that are adopted also experience feelings of abandonment, even if they were adopted as a baby and had two very uh, supportive and available parents in their lives. Um, it was something that, it was a trauma that chased me for the majority of my lives and what I noticed, my lives, my life, and what I noticed is in multiple relationships, I would repeat similar patterns and connect with people that weren't fully committed to the relationship. And when I say relationship it is friendship or romantic relationships as well. And then these people would show up the same way. And I would always feel like we weren't fully connected and then something would happen. There would be some sort of um, disagreement. And instead of working through those things, they were like, you know, the relationship would end or we would move into a space of attachment where I would be constantly trying to like cling on and hold on for dear life because I was afraid that they would leave me, whatever that meant, whether it was emotionally or physically. Um, and it is very challenging um, trauma to work through. And I had years of talk therapy, say eight years of talk therapy before I found Psych K. And Psych K was really the thing that shifted. My very first session that I had with a coach, um, 
the process that she walked me through was really about um, my belief, my limiting beliefs around my unworthiness. And that very first appointment with her has shifted my the rest of my life. And I was able to build on transforming that major belief and then change my life to be connected with other people and have thriving um, life instead of living in that survival mode. Mm, yeah, thank you for that. Because you're right, because with the experience of feeling abandoned, you know, and it's just like you say, as a young child, we have a we only have a limited filter, we take things literally. And then we take it very personally. So I think what is wrong with me, you know, that they would leave me, maybe I'm not lovable, maybe there's something wrong with me, maybe I did something right, maybe I'm meant to be punished, whatever. And then that's where like that lack of worthiness comes in. I my, me too, I had my my worthiness pretty much in the toilet too. <laughs> for my years. And yeah. I would, and I acted like I was fine. So I used denial and I used avoidance avoidance and I just was self self-sufficient and self-reliant that oh I'm good no I'm great oh heck yeah but oh no I wasn't in the inside not at all and my mom did the same thing so I just duplicated her denial coping strategies and things like that and just act like everything's good act like everything's fine because we weren't we weren't taught to like go dive into your feelings listen yeah, to your feelings not no heck no that was like the danger zone you're like nope I ain't going there I'm avoiding that at all costs you know I had and a college roommate who said to me, who said to me one time, um, I'm going to take a page out of your book. Your motto should be party hard and never let them see you cry. And I remember thinking, oh my, I mean, I, I just had no idea that I didn't share my feelings at all. And I uh, allegedly was extremely stoic and took and here I am thinking that I was wearing my heart on my sleeve and very open and my sister-in-law has also said that she's asked um do you think you wear your heart on your sleeve because you do not <laughs> you know so I've had right. to learn oh wow I am safe and secure to share I am worthy of sharing my feelings which are great goal statements in sight Kate right Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes, they are. They certainly are. Yeah, yeah. Well, and this is the gift is that, and it does take a bit of courage. That's it. It just takes courage and willingness, um, right, to be able to become authentic, to be able to become true to who you are, because we are human beings and we are divine beings, right? And we're meant to unite the two so that we become these divine human beings, the masculine and the feminine also united. So this is what the gift with Psyche I know has done for myself and the people that I serve is to bring all of these back into a harmony, into a wholeness within ourselves again. And the emotional part is our feminine part. That's the part of us that is our, and it's, it's the part of us connected with our divinity. And that's the part that got overlaid by the masculine, by the patriarchal society. But then it just was out of survival. It wasn't safe yet. It is safe now. We're in the Aquarian age. And that's the gift that, that's why Psyche um, the energy field came through Rob Williams as originator for us exactly for these times because we are ready. It just all it takes is courage. It's all it takes is the one to say, yeah, you know, I'm kind of tired of how things were. I do want things to change. If you're willing to go take a bit of risk and all it takes is just, oh, my gosh, you actually just have to open your heart and then and then discover the things you don't know because it's all subconscious. So you're not even consciously aware of it. And then and we are going to need to take a short break here um, soon, but we'll dive right into this because this is the whole polyphery of the subconscious mind versus the conscious mind, the super conscious mind, all aspects of us within in our heart center. And that the gift here is that your our world, our experiences is going to let you know what's going on in your subconscious mind because that does that because we're creators of our lives so that everything happening to us is actually happening for us and through us so that we can expand and transform. So that's what we'll be talking shortly. We'll take a short break. I am Mary Mazur. You're on the Bold Brave TV network. This is Change Your Funk to Fun. We'll be right back. What if there were a super tiny device that could diagnose the brain and is smaller than a single human hair? What if you could see inside the brain to help an epilepsy patient during surgery or to help the fight against Parkinson's disease? 
Dr. Patricia Broderick is proud to announce the Broderick Probe, a biomedical and electronic breakthrough. Imagine a probe to help with the understanding and potential cure of brain-related diseases. To learn more, listen live to the Easy Sense Radio Show with host Dr. Broderick, Wednesdays, 7 p.m. Eastern, on the Bold Brave Media Network and TuneIn Radio. And to help support the Broderick Foundation, please go to easysense.com and learn how, with your help, we can fight these horrific brain disorders. That's easysense.com to learn more and help support the Broderick Foundation. Author, radio show host, and coach, John M. Hawkins reveals strategies to help gain perspective, build confidence, find clarity, achieve goals. John M. Hawkins' new book, Coached to Greatness, unlock your full potential with limitless growth. Published by iUniverse, Hawkins reveals strategies to help readers accomplish more. He believes the book can coach them to greatness. Hawkins says that the best athletes get to the top of their sport with the help of coaches, mentors, and others. He shares guidance that helps readers reflect on what motivates them. We discover and assess their core values, philosophies, and competencies, find settings that allow them to be the most productive, and track their progress towards accomplishing goals. Listen to John Hawkins' My Strategy, Saturdays, 1 p.m. Eastern, on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. Welcome back. I'm Mary Mazur. You are on the Bold Brave TV Network. This is Change Your Funk to Fun, episode three here. We are saying goodbye to, uh, to abandonment and welcoming in connection and support. And here's Ginger Clark. Uh, she and I are here to greatly uh, discuss, yeah, the, this, these ideas and these um, ways of being and these new movements, really. It's really a shift, a great shift in consciousness to to actually release, to let go, to actually move through the abandonment. That's actually the first piece. So we'll talk about that too, because we, we're talking about subconscious versus conscious and the courage is the gateway for us to make these changes. Um, another, yeah, very, very vital piece is that um, we at the subconscious level will avoid things out of survival. And I know I sure did it. I know I, I still catch myself doing it. Sometimes I'm like, okay, what is this about? Why am I avoiding this here, right? The right. And being yeah. brave to look at those blind spots and having those people around you that can say, well, you know, ask the right questions, say, say the things that's going to have you, you know, peek, peek in those places, right? In those corners of the closet. And you can see that stuff. And I think therapy is really good for that to mm -hmm. bring some awareness. And then, and then, and then what happens next? You know, you've got that, you're aware of that piece that you want to transform and you want to shift. And then the having the courage to step forward to change that. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. No. And that, and that, and it is, and it's in our choice point of our readiness, our readiness for the change. Because, right, the, a good question to ask yourself how long do you want to stay there? How long do you want to stay stuck? How long do you want to stay in that, you know? abandonment energy or lack of self-worth or even inability to open your heart to forgive to let go to live from your heart again to feel again these are vital pieces that we're all being called into i don't know how you've been feeling but i know for me there's been a lot going on especially the beginning of this year whoo wee lots of massive changes and, and massive surprises and shifting and we're getting like inundated with a whole bunch of light codes and most stuff that we don't see any of the stuff, but yeah, whew, if your body's feeling it and you're noticing it, it's okay. It's here for us. <laughs> it's actually really helping us greatly. It just might not feel very good. And then exactly the, the key comes in is, um, I know for myself, a big one with Psyche helped me greatly as I helped shift even my perception of time because at the time i had i had zero time if i would have said yeah even even learning psyche i barely had time to even go to the workshop to do that i still had the courage to go so i found a way but my plate was so full it was actually kind of hilarious and i i, I loved being busy i i actually thrived on it but i didn't realize it's because it was a distraction tool for me yes and, and it kept me in kind of like that chaos distraction and it did limit me you know so i um 
I had to realize, okay, so why am I, and I would get, I would feed off of it. It, it would even be my dopamine hits. You know, I can go here and then I can go here and I go here and I go be busy here. And then it actually, a lot of that was because of my abandonment um, woundings that I have when I was younger. I wanted people um, to like me. I wanted people to, you know, know that I made a difference for them. So I was really to self-sacrifice. I was out there helping so many people all the time and then getting myself exhausted and probably driving my family, you know, ragged <laughs> at the end of it. But, and it's okay because it was the experience I had. The gift is now is that I, I asking key questions for ourselves is one of the biggest gifts we can give ourselves, right? Do I want to still do that? No. You know what? I think I would, I actually, can I actually have some time for myself? I never had time for myself ever. I actually did, wasn't even comfortable being with myself, which is really interesting. Growing up in a very big family, having 11 brothers and sisters, that was just the norm, right? So, and the gift is, is, okay, what would I like to experience here? And I'm, and now I have time for myself and I'm like, wow, like I shifted my whole life. <laughs> so I actually have a lot of time and it's like, oh, and then I get to do it with my heart's desires in this time. It's like, it, everything has shifted. And a lot of it was because I had to move through that abandonment pieces within me and then reconnect back into my love again. And that's one of the precious gifts that Psyche helped me with um, massively. Yeah. So how about yes. for you? such magic. And I think when you spoke about this life of busyness and living in that place of busyness to distract yourself from the wounding that is going on inside of you, isn't that such an accurate description of what we see so much in the world and people around us? And there isn't a check in, there isn't a slow down um to a even ask yourself or oneself what is going on how it doesn't even cross someone's mind to say how do i want things to be and i think that we are definitely moving in a direction um i know for in my world and so many people that i interact with and and loved ones are stepping into asking these questions and then asking me, um, well, where should I go or what should I do or how should I um, explore figuring out what is going on with me? And unfortunately, a lot of people, it takes like a massive trauma for them to kind of be jolted and go, oh my God what have i been doing i've been living in this pattern and in this program of busyness for so long i didn't even realize and distraction to cover up wounds i didn't even realize that i was doing this and this isn't this isn't the way that i wanted life to be i mean we also call that the midlife crisis we you know those crises um <laughs> But then again, going back to the very beginning, you mentioned this is happening for us, recognizing that these things are happening for us to show us who we really are and what's really important, which is our soul, our soul and our purpose. We did not come to this planet for a big pile of stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. we, we came here to experience life and to um experience everything that goes along with that counterintuitive as it may sound sometimes right yeah yeah no exactly yeah and i know i i'll do for my own self as a just kind of play with hey if i was at the end of my life right am i going to be really glad i'm doing what i'm doing right now and yes. i just oh my god all yes. the time with that because yeah then that's exactly it. no i'm not going to be like and i'm like well i'm sure glad i worked really hard and really long for on and on and on that's all i did okay uh, so how'd that go for you like okay I, woo <laughs> what yeah. was there any pleasure in this did you have any enjoyment did you have any deep connections have you had you know, great support. What did you experience here? We are in a gorgeous planet to go experience, to go test things out, to try new things, to, yeah. Whew. Yeah. Whole yeah. Big thing. Did so that's not buy, like, yeah, did not buy the ticket to work hard. You know, Thank that, that's not, that is not it. There's, there's so much life here and so much, um, expansion, you know, so much to walk into. 
exactly. And and when how we were born, especially with our parents' time, and then even what we got in the 20th century, it's like it was in survival. So there was there wasn't a whole lot of time. But, oh, let's just go have a fun time. Go lead from your heart's desires. Whatever you would love to do, it's all going to work out great. No, they're like, no, you need to get a heart. You need to get a job. You need to work hard. You need to just pay for yourself soon. And you know, once you have all that, then go have a little bit of fun once in a while. But it's like this right setup that we got right, which I think is. I love the younger people in this world. Now I have, um, you know, younger, um, I have children that are in their um, 20s now, which is so awesome. And, uh, and it is, they, they still kind of got a lot of that because they do work hard. They kind of work, you know, some long hours, but yet they do do a lot of fun. So they're bringing in more of that balance, more of that fun. And then, right, they still have to figure their lives out too of how do they really want, want things to be. It's, we're all on that personal journey you know, with that. So it's, it's, I think it's getting better than how I, I was or how my parents were. And there's still a lot we can still do. You know, um, I have a and good friend. What we are on that journey because that is what yeah. we chose. And that's something that I didn't mention initially is um, I really believe that I chose to experience the 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 themes, you know, the traumas and the wounding that I did experience um, as a human on this planet so that I could transform my perception of that and then go speak to other people and inspire other people and connect with other people um, through the, just through being human and recognize my spirituality and recognize my soul, right? on my on my journey so that I could um, inspire other people to do the same. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we did. We have to experience. It's important that we did experience the traumas and the wounds and the things that we did because we were right there. We're right there with everybody else that, um, you know, is is in it through. And there's been people that been, they've been humanity has been asleep for a very long time and been on autopilot of survival. Yeah. So this the gift that that's that level of consciousness and then and then a bit of suffering and pain too those are the lower densities of 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 consciousness the gift here is this lifetime switching from it's happening to you to happening for you is the game changer because that's the courage when we can admit that we are the creators of our lives the co-creators connected with our divinity and the and divinity of all and then we start getting the support and the receiving all the help that's here for us Right. And then, right. Eventually um, connecting in with um, knowing you're deeply loved and abundant. You're, you're safe and secure here. That's lifting you out of those denser, those denser um, consciousness. And it's literally a shift in beliefs. It's literally a shift in perception. And that's exactly what Psyche helps us do. And it did it for me because I did not feel safe here. I did not feel secure here or even deeply loved. I thought there was something wrong with me because I kind of didn't fit in. I, I'm a little different than, than and there's a lot of us that are, and it's, but now it's like, yeah, cause we're meant to be unique. I'm not meant to fit in yet. I'm kind of have a lot more Pleiadian energy and, you know, Lyran energy and you know, <laughs> love to come visit earth beings once in a right. while. You know? <laughs> and people will be like, you're not from here. Where are you from? Like, yeah. And it's okay. And the gift yeah. is I, the joy I have and the love. Exactly. And right. We are meant to experience those opposite experiences of who we truly are of those fear and all of fears, cousins, you know, like are connected to fear. And then to be able to, at any moment we can wake up. And this is what the invitation is right now. The game has been done. Everyone's being called to wake up now. And that's the biggest gift here. So the key thing, what we're talking about is, is helping to dive into those deep childhood wounds like abandonment, because it's impossible for us to be abandoned because we are the divinity consciousness here. Yes. We are the ray of the sun. So how can we ever abandon ourselves And divinity would never do that to itself? But we as humans do it because we we think we're separate and different. So that's where the whole caveat kind of falls apart. <laughs> yeah, is our human experience. We are going to need to take another short break. And when we come back, we're going to really be diving into the connection and support, the positive side that mm. that experience of abandonment brings for us. Because I know you and I are really beginning to really, really, really be it, experience it, vibrate in it. And it's, it's so worth it. It's worth all of it. So we'll come back. I am Mary Mazur. You're on the Bold Brave TV Network. Uh, this is Change Your Funk to Fun. We'll see you in a few minutes. Did you know that your beliefs create your entire reality, but it's the subconscious beliefs that do most of the creating? Belief Shifter and Life Coach Shiraz can help you identify those limiting beliefs and eliminate them, often in a single session. Like it was almost instant, like... 
I had relief right away. Creating better health, relationships, careers, and finances. Let Shiraz help you step out of safety and into awareness. Definitely something's happening. Uh, it's like a, a flow inside. You know, it feels good. Whether in person or online, Shiraz provides personal coaching, belief shifting. Visit Shiraz at energeticmagic.com or call 416-529-7429. Energetic Magic on the BBM Global Network, Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern. Find your greater happiness. Be well. Be aware. Be magical. Are you struggling to care for elderly parents or a spouse? Do you wonder if being a caregiver is making you sick? Are you worried about taking time off work to care for elderly parents and balance work, life, and caregiving? Has caregiving become exhausting and emotionally draining? Are you an aging adult who wants to remain independent, but you're not sure how? I'm Pamela D. Wilson. Join me for the Caring Generation radio show for caregivers and aging adults, Wednesday evenings, 6 Pacific, 7 Mountain, 8 Central, and 9 Eastern, where I answer these questions and share tips for managing stress, family relationships, health, well-being, and more. Podcasts and transcripts of The Caring Generation are on my website, PamelaDWilson.com, plus my caregiving library, online caregiver support programs, and programs for corporations interested in supporting working caregivers. Help, hope, and support for caregivers is here on The Caring Generation and PamelaDWilson.com. Welcome back. I'm Mary Mazur. You're on the Bold Brave TV Network. This is Change Your Funk to Fun, Episode 3. Ooh, say goodbye to abandonment and welcome connection and support. And here's Ginger Clark that we and I are still going to be diving into the best part of this talk right now, and that's connection and support. Yay! Because <laughs> that's actually the, the gems. That's actually the gifting. That's actually the ooh, reconnection to all of who and what we are by actually experiencing things like abandonment. Yeah. Oh, so would you love to share a bit about like the differences you've noticed with your connection, connection within yourself, connection in your spirit world, connections of your like mediumship and all the beautiful giftings. I know that you and I both have been able to expand greatly in. Yeah. Yes, for sure. So it turns out when you um, clear a lot of your dense energy, which those lower level dense um, energies going on in your body that uh, are trauma induced, you make room for lots of expansion and you have a lot of space for your heart and brain to have some coherence. And then for me, what was activated there was my intuition. And as I have um, cleared more of that stuff, then more space was made. So my intuition has just like, has opened up and, you know, I'd heard long time ago, years ago, Wayne Dyer say uh, something to the effect of, if you knew how supported you were, you would never feel alone again. Mm. And that is absolutely true. Because if I, as I've been able to see beyond the um, non-physical or into the non-physical and connect, we are so cherished and supported and loved and safe um and we have so much divinity around us in a variety of different ways it's yeah it's just magic i think it's magic anyway and yeah. it's, it's changed my life i was someone that oh my gosh so in a in such a victim energy and you can get really deep and in those dark nights of the soul and then to to just persevere and burst through on the other side and to discover such love and belonging and connection and find people that have also burst through you know on the other side of their their shadows and their darkness there is just i just keep um hearing there is such great love for for you here and there is and it's it's so fantastic and i'm glad that we're talking about this on valentine's day nonetheless you know i know isn't it <laughs> isn't that precious? exactly yeah i might have a daughter that's born on this day so her birthday's today she's a valentine baby and how precious is that but yeah 
No, thank you for that. And and the gift is is exactly when we can realize, wow, there's so much support for us that because a lot of us were taught to be self-reliant or we didn't get our needs met at, at the very young ages that we didn't realize. So we had to figure it out ourselves. And uh, a lot happened to me in that way. And and the gift, so the gift, the changes that I know I went through, which is huge, is just like be open up to receive, to to actually let people know I do have needs. I couldn't even show I had needs. No, I'm not going to show that. I'm just fine, just how I am, you know. Because oh, it yeah. wasn't safe, you know. We were, we just weren't taught that it was safe to ask for. So you're not even bringing in people, and then the people that you do have around you that would greatly. Um, you know, just lend a hand, you throw up these blocks and, or you're, you know, rejecting it somehow um, and you're pushing it away and you're not allowing yourself to receive the help that you need. Again, going back to those limiting beliefs of um, unworthiness, shame due to the abandonment wounds. Right. Exactly. Exactly. And the gift is, is like you say, is, is just the, the key comes in is when you can, when you can recognize it. And that's what this talk is here for. Like you say, open up, even if it's 10 or 15 minutes and just kind of sit with yourself, check in with how you're feeling. That's what I do. I, Cause the feeling matters. How does your body feeling? How are you feeling? How's your heart feeling? And be okay. I didn't even like sadness. I would even avoid sadness for whatever reason. I never liked sadness. Like I, I barely ever cried. I think cause I got spanked when I cried. So I'm like, no, you're not supposed to like sadness or, you know, blah, blah, blah. So I'm still, working with myself with falling in love with any kind of sadness I feel because sadness is just means you love so much that's why you're sad and you don't have to stay there but you just move through it enough to help you connect deeply you're just you're finding out what you're connecting in with but tap tap into those those tender spots right of feeling alone feeling oh my gosh like nobody was there for me or I didn't ever got the help that I wanted or, or the mentorship or the support or blah 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 okay okay and be real. That's so true. I help people when they do one-on-one -on -one private sessions with me, they actually go into their hearts and they actually, they bring out that part of them. That part of them actually stands in front of them and talks to them. And it's very powerful. I love it. It's like, whoa, yes. And they, that, that part of you needs a voice. It needs to be heard. And it may be very angry, rageful, like you say, shamed, mm -hmm. you know, helpless, humiliated. There may be all kinds of pieces there. I've been working with myself with this. I had a huge, huge thing happen to me last month that, that brought a lot of this stuff up for me. And because it's just time, it was time for all of that to come up and come out. And because I have worked with myself and I, and I do, I work with myself every day. I tap into myself. I make sure I check in. That's my own self accountability. And that's the, that's the gift when I know everything is here for me. And I choose to want to have a wonderful life and an amazing a fantastic life and to share other people too. I'm here, we're here to help anchor in the heaven on earth here to be the peace, to be the love, to be the harmony. So I take that, um, I take that self responsibility, um, wholeheartedly. Um, so if I'm not feeling that, okay, so what's blocking it? What's limiting that? That's the gift with psyche you can come in to do. And there's other tools too, like breath work is beautiful, sound healing, even plant medicines, you many pieces. And even if people do like you did the, the um, talk therapy to bring the awareness and make sure you make the changes, like get to someone who knows how to help you with psyche or come to one of my workshops. We'll talk about that in a little bit that you can actually, like you did, you came in, learn it and did it for yourself, which is flipping awesome. When you actually can have this tool for yourself. And that's what I did. I didn't even have anyone help me because I didn't think anyone could help me. I had to go help myself. So majority of my psyche I did with myself and my spirit obviously helped me the whole time. And I then, wow, opened up to be to let my spirit part be me. And then that's when everything changes. You're like, what? We're your spirit? <laughs> Yeah. This is when right. miracles can happen. This is when transformations and synchronicity and flow and harm. Oh, heck yes. <laughs> Welcome it's to our all way. here. It's all here. I love yes, it. All in our hearts. Our, yes, are speaking about the heart. Uh, I'm someone that lived in my head, right? There's so many people that are just so analytical and it's all up there and they're, you know, I would just lay in bed at night and just, I call it reeling, you know, and just over and over and over. And that reminder of, oh, just bring it down, bring it down mm -hmm. into your heart. Yeah. And the that's where your answers are, right? For yourself, that's where your connection is to yourself. And I think a lot of the time we're really scared if we haven't 
tapped in and connected in to our heart, we're really scared of what it's going to have to say. And it can be extremely confronting um, to look look at that, to allow that that part to come forward and to listen. Mm -hmm. And a lot of that, I think a lot of that fear is just the fear of doing it. And once we do and we face that, it's kind of like the, you know, the monster in the closet. Oh, it's not so bad, right? Yeah. You know? Yeah. No, exactly. and it does take courage. You're right. And it does. Do, all it is is a decision, too. It's the courage. It you do have the courage to move you, to open the doorway. It's like the courage yeah, it helps you turn the knob and then your willingness the that day. you just decide and say, oh, heck yeah, you have to say, yes, I'm moving through. And then whew, the doors open and you're like, what? And this is what I was so scared about. What it was is your feelings. That's what's the worst that's going to happen. You're going to like probably cry a lot or maybe, you know, ah, maybe have to yell or, cry, you, cry, you know, move your body. Good. Okay. That's, and it, it can seem so scary, but actually once you do move through it, it might take a few minutes you know, seriously. And then you'll be like, what? Yeah. Yeah. Guess and what? This you just whole open. Other opens up. I mean, you know, you open up that closet and they're solely from Monsters Inc., right? <laughs> exactly. And then think that's why they have those fun movies like that to help us with that. Absolutely. Yes. No, no, ab absolutely. And then connection is so awesome because the connecting with our own selves, that's the biggest work I know I do for myself and I help others do is that there's parts of me that I exiled out or I, I separated or I didn't want or hated or just didn't, you know, was that part of me wasn't good enough or blah, 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 all those pieces. Those are the pieces that I'm inviting all back into me. They were just the aspects of me that wanted to experience that. It was just the experience that I had here. And it's really neat when you can recognize it. Okay. And then how was that? You know, what did you learn from that? And, and, and I'm curious of like saying, what can we learn from that? Right? Oh, yes, definitely. Instead of that, where's your heart telling you of your heart's desires? Or how would you rather it be? You know, that's where, like you say, the answers are. That's where the connection is, is your heart's desires. And we have a right to that. We have a right to live from our heart's desires, to, to live our truth, to be who we are, to speak and say our, our no is just as powerful as our yes. And there's times to say no. There's times to separate, uh, to uh, move on, to make big changes. You know, and then and then I love the yeses because I'm like, yes. I mean, yeses is like, yeah, where I get lit up and intoxicated back into the love again. <laughs> Especially when you can feel it, you're like, yes. Because I don't, I don't get... The gift with me is I don't get lost in the mind too much. Thank goodness. I used to. I had to make sure I shifted to say, no, I'm heart-centered. My mind is the servant to my heart. So if I do tap into, oh, analyzing or thinking about it, I'm like, okay, I get that. It's because I, I want, I'm seeking to understand. Or I'm, I'm, and what, why am I doing that? Oh, probably because I want to feel safe and secure and loved. Okay, so how about I just tap into that one? Do I feel safe, secure, and loved? No. Okay, so I use like, hey, which is a tool that we help. I reprogram my mind. I am safe and secure and loved even in this new experience. A lot of the unknown is scaring the crap out of people because the yes. whole world's turning into unknown. Everything's changing. All the old systems are falling apart. The new ones are coming in. So there's this, ah, what's happening? And then the, if they watch news, they're going to get all the negative programming junk. Highly recommend turn off the news, turn off the television, go outside and be in nature. Go spend time with family, you know, share time with family and ones you love. Go do what brings you joy. Begin, start doing that. And and then find a way... Is, you know, stepping out into nature yes. and nature is such a beautiful teacher, such a, she has seasons, right? <laughs> we have seasons in our lives. There are, there are times when it's going to be springtime for us. And then there's time where it's time to hibernate and we want to, you know, hide under the covers and it's all allowed. And we are allowed. We weren't meant for the busyness of three, six, five, two, four, seven. Absolutely not. And, um, you know, being out there in nature, it teaches you presence and being next to the river, the stream, you know, looking at the leaves on the tree, the animals, it's, it's our greatest teacher if we allow it to be. And she's very supportive. Exactly. And as simple as that and how precious is that? That's exactly what we're being called back into. So thank you. Thank you. We're going to take another short break. And when we come back, we'll, we'll, we'll um, see how people can reach you if they want to help help 
with supports with mediumship and connection and their right their connection with their divinity and if they want to reach me so i am mary mazer you're on the bold brave tv network this is change your funk to fun we'll be right back what if there were a super tiny device that could diagnose the brain and is smaller than a single human hair what if you could see inside the brain to help an epilepsy patient during surgery or to help the fight against Parkinson's disease? Dr. Patricia Broderick is proud to announce the Broderick Probe, a biomedical and electronic breakthrough. Imagine a probe to help with the understanding and potential cure of brain-related diseases. To learn more, listen live to the Easy Sense Radio Show with host Dr. Broderick. Wednesdays, 7 p.m. Eastern on the Bold Brave Media Network and TuneIn Radio. And to help support the Broderick Foundation, please go to Easy sense.com and learn how with your help we can fight these horrific brain disorders that's easysense.com to learn more and help support the broderick foundation author radio show host and coach john m hawkins reveals strategies to help gain perspective build confidence find clarity achieve goals John M. Hawkins' new book, Coached to Greatness, Unlock Your Full Potential with Limitless Growth, published by iUniverse. Hawkins reveals strategies to help readers accomplish more. He believes the book can coach them to greatness. Hawkins says that the best athletes get to the top of their sport with the help of coaches, mentors, and others. He shares guidance that helps readers reflect on what motivates them. We discover and assess their core values, philosophies, and competencies, find settings that allow them to be the most productive, and track their progress towards accomplishing goals. Listen to John Hawkins' My Strategy, Saturdays, 1 p.m. Eastern, on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. Mm. Welcome back. I'm Mary Mazur. You're on the Bold Brave TV Network. This is Change Your Funk to Fun. We're in episode three. Say goodbye to abandonment and welcome connection and support. And here's Ginger Clark here. We are going to be finishing up here the last part of the segment here. Um, Ginger, is there anything you'd love to, to share or say uh, maybe that helped you the most with, with making these big shifts? Like, uh, And then what, what people can do so they know that they can do it too. First and foremost, honoring, honoring myself in all the ways. Um, and through that, I was able to reach love and connect with all of these parts. And then there's an acceptance that comes there. Um, grounding in and accepting and through, through that and, and just radical um yeah radical radical acceptance and then through through that being able to find the tools that were able to help me and for me i mean i have um tried all sorts of things and psych k was was my was my key <laughs> yeah dr bruce lipton would say the same thing so <laughs> 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 yeah. And me too. I would definitely say the same thing too. Yeah. So then how, because you were ready for it and that's why it came to you. I was so ready for it. Yeah, exactly. But when it's ready, that's when you hear about it and people hearing this talk, that means, ah, uh -huh, there's a little nudge and all it is is a gentle nudge is a gentle nudge and you can say no to it and you never do it. But um, when you do say yes, you'll be like, oh, heck yeah. Thank you. I'm so glad I said yes. 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 I'm so glad I said yes. And it has just, um, it's transformed everything for me. Welcome, yeah. and I just welcome myself to my new way of being. Yeah, isn't that beautiful? And then, yeah, so and, then, great. <laughs> it is. and then we can talk and share with people when they're going through maybe issues of abandonment or, you know, things that happen like harsh things in their lives because we've been there and we can hold that space, that compassion, that love because, yeah, we know, we know what it was like. It does really suck. It's like, oof, it's rough. It is. And we can be a beaming light just to say you, and you can move through it. You can actually receive the gems that they're off that experience is offering you because it's actually here for you not for you to stay there at all no it's actually for you to use it to use it for you to expand connect more deeply into your, our divinity deeply to to understand and knowing who you who we are and to live like say from our heart center 
from deep connection, oneness connection, and support to know, be open floodgates with receiving so that whatever we do give out, we receive in the tenfold gain. This is all... This is all here for us when we we're really getting the snowball rolling here with the Aquarian age um, for these next thousand years of peace and harmony and, and love in this. So whoever wants to jump on, like I say, leave the battlefield ship, you know, or the pirate ship and come on to the love boat. You know, this is where we are. We're yeah. navigating the water, right? <laughs> of love. Exactly. And going to the love island and the love, love, wherever we want to go. You, the, these love boats can take you wherever we want to go. And it's our hearts, our hearts desires that are, is what's navigating this. And it is, it is our birthright to listen to this and to say yes to it and then to begin to do it. So I know. So we welcome people. Um, how can people get a hold of you um, if they would love to connect with you? You can connect with me uh, through email. Um, it's Miss Ginger Marie Clark at Gmail. That's M S G I N G E R M A R I E C L A R K. Um, I am an intuitive life coach and I work with. As mentioned before, various modalities, Psyche is my favorite. Mm -hmm. And I also um, help people activate their intuition and really hone into their spiritual gifts. Mm. I love it. Thank you. Yay. Love it. Love it. I know. <laughs> things, whoo, the people you've helped so far, it just, it just melts my heart. And I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. Thank you. Yay. Thank you. I know. I love it. Love it. And if anyone wants to reach me, um, from, go to my website, igniteandhealyourlife.com. So it's ignite, igniteandhealyourlife.com. I do teach workshops. I'm one of the certified certified psyche instructors across the world. There's about 30 or 35 of us that teach this. I'm in I'm in America, and I do do most of like the um, the right half of America is kind of where I mostly teach. <laughs> but um, if anyone wants to come learn it, um, I'm teaching it in Grand Rapids, Michigan this weekend. That would be really fast. You'd have to sign up today. Today or tomorrow will be the last day for that one. Uh, if someone really wanted to jump in, I am teaching online. That's I know that's what you started with with the online workshop. You begin with yourself first, which is a beautiful, beautiful gift. Um, that's next weekend. So that's uh, February 23rd weekend. It's a Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And it does. It moves through fast. You'll be amazed what you're going to actually have this tool now to help you um, really shift, clear out the and let go of that abandonment or any other um, childhood wounds and then right replace it to who you really are, like connection and support. I'm also offering in March, March 22nd weekend, um, another online workshop if anyone wants to also um, tap in there. In April, I'll be in Florida, Fort Lauderdale, the first weekend in April. And in May, I'll be in Brevard, North Carolina and in Knoxville, Tennessee. So people can go to my website to see the dates and, and all on that. But I love it. And I do also pro offer private sessions too, um, using Psyche and then also with my spiritual gifts because they're right. Their spirit can talk through me and exactly we help navigate them through like you do too. You and I do a lot of similar things, Ginger. And I love it because I, that's why we're here and we we're so grateful that we can we can offer this. And this is really real. It really is real. I'm like, yeah. yes, it is. It's so much fun. <laughs> And it's so much fun and let's go have a, let's have so much fun. So I'm so grateful that you came on today and I hope I, I, I do trust and know whoever um, listened to it today. Um, yeah. That they may actually use it, use what they use, what they heard and, and go make a difference in your own lives and the lives of others by beginning with letting go of that abandonment stuff by moving through it, find the tools, find ways to help you with that. And then reconnect, connect, connect, connect with your heart, with the love, the truth of who you are. And know you're always supported. You have an infinite amount of support. Start opening up to receive those supports. And you're going to be like, wow, life is easy. Life is fun. Life is flowing. This is really awesome. Woo, how can I just be so happy? Yeah, you can. <laughs> Welcome to your new way. Oh, my goodness. So this has been such, such a gift and joy. Um, I am Mary Mazur. You're on the Bold Brave TV Network. This is Change Your Funk to Fun. Have fun today. Happy Valentine's Day. We love you. We'll send big, big, big things like this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Yay. All right. We love you. This has been Change Your Funk to Fun with host Mary Mazur. Tune in each week and ignite the courage within you to take meaningful changes in your life and allow the fun, joy, and love in your life to awaken. Wednesdays, 3 p.m. here on the Bold Brave TV Network.